All right, question 14 says, if y equals negative 4 fifths x minus 2, what is the value of x when y is equal to negative 9? So you need to be careful. It is looking for x, and they gave you y. So y is equal to negative 9. We are going to substitute negative 9 into your y, not the x, because it's saying y is equal to that. So then now I have negative 9 equals negative 4 fifths x minus 2. And we are going to solve for x. So we want x by itself. But first we have to get rid of the things that are preventing x being by itself. We have the negative 4 fifths and we have the negative minus 2. We need to get rid of the minus 2 and then the number in front of the x. So we have to move the negative 2 to the other side. We have to eliminate it. So we get the opposite. So instead of minus 2, it's going to be plus 2 plus 2. This cancels. So I have negative 9 plus 2, which is negative 7 equals negative 4 fits x. So here I have a fraction that's multiplying by that. We want to make this equal to 1. To make it equal to 1, we are going to multiply by its reciprocal. So we flip the numbers around. Now I'm going to multiply by that. But if since this is a negative, we want this to be a positive one, we have to also multiply by a negative. So that way I'm left with, and of course on this side too, you're going to multiply by negative 5 over 4. So here I have negative 4 times negative 5, which is positive 20. And then we'll put it on the side. And then here you have 5 times 4, which is 20. And 20 divided by 20 is 1. So basically these ended up canceling. And I have x equals, here we put the 7 over 1. Negative 5 times negative 7 is 35. Positive 35 because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then 4 times 1 is and that's your answer, 35 over 4. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, if, oops, that should have had a y. If y is equal to negative 13x plus 92 divided by 2, what is the value of x when y is equal to 7? Once again, the 7 goes in for the y. So I have 7 equals negative 13x plus 92 divided by 2. And we want x by itself, so we need to move, get rid of the other stuff that's in the way. First thing we want to do is get rid of this dividing by 2. And the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. To, of course, to both sides. What you do to one side, you have to do the other. By multiplying by 2, the, these 2's cancel. And then now you have 14. 14 equals negative 13x plus 92. We want x by itself, but we're going to deal with the negative 13 later. First, we have to get rid of the 92. So we do minus 92, minus 92. This cancels. 14 minus 92 is negative 78. So I have negative 78 equals negative 13x. We want x by itself, so we need to get rid of the negative 13. Divide by negative 13 to both sides. And you should end up with a positive number because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. x equals 6. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one. These are... Um, a little bit difficult, that's why I'm providing different examples. All right, if y equals 2 thirds x minus 6, what is the value of x when y equals negative 4? We're going to substitute the negative 4 into the y because that's what it says, y is equal to that. So I have negative 4 equals 2 thirds x minus 6. And we solve for x. We need to get rid of this minus 6. 
by adding six to both sides. So negative four plus six is two. And there we go again, having that fraction. So we have to get that fraction to equal one. And we do that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of two thirds is three over two. And it's positive because a positive um, times a positive gives you a positive, which is what we want. We want a positive x. Here we multiply also by the reciprocal. Here I have two times three is six. Three times two is six. Six divided by six is one. So they ended up canceling. So now I have x equals, here we're gonna put two over one. So it's three times two is six. Two times one is two. Six divided by two is three. X equals three.